Judging your fruit's ripeness can be really tricky. Pick too early and it'll taste starchy and vegetal. Wait too long and it'll end up in the compost. Here are some tricks we've learned that'll help you know when to enjoy your backyard bounty. First, it's important to know what you have. Most fruit trees are grafts of known varieties. If you're lucky enough to know that your apple is a Gravenstein or that you planted the Bing cherry, you can easily find out when it ripens in your location. If you've moved in and the tree is already there, here's an option. You can record when your tree is at peak bloom and then compare it to trees with similar bloom periods. Just search online for flowering groups. Familiarize yourself with when fruit is generally ripe in your area. In Victoria, apples, plums, and pears ripen sometime between July and October. Your cherries might start a little earlier, while quince, medlars, and kiwis come a little bit after. You're going to see some annual variation. A really hot May or a really rainy June is going to make your fruit ripen earlier or later. Even where your tree is planted in your yard can make a difference. Get to know your tree. Your senses are some of the best tools you have for judging fruit ripeness. Feel the fruit. If it's a stone fruit like a plum or a peach, it should feel soft but not squishy. Apples, plums, and pears should break easily from the tree when lifted horizontally. If you've got a pull, it's not ripe. Look at the outside. A fruit's color will change as it ripens, although sometimes only slightly. Keep in mind that a fruit's full color will vary based on variety and planting location. For example, the apples with the most exposure to the sun will be redder than those under the canopy. Look also at the flesh and the seeds. Dry, green, starchy, thick-skinned indicates it's got a long way to go. With palm fruit, that's apples, pears, and quince, the seed color changes from white to black as it ripens. For fruit in the prunus family, which is cherries, plums, and apricots, fruit color is less of an indicator, but as they ripen, it does become easier to separate the stone from the flesh. Lastly, smell and taste the fruit. It should smell aromatic and sweet, not like a vegetable. If it tastes sweet and it smells good, there's a good chance it's ripe. First off, falling fruit can be a poor indicator of ripeness. It can happen for a variety of reasons, including underpollination, a lack of fruit thinning, poor tree health, or competition for space. Second, people often pick too early in hopes that it'll ripen off the tree, but once you've picked it, the energy of the soil and the sun could no longer contribute to the flavor. It may soften and sweeten a bit if you leave it on the counter, but it'll never reach its full potential. At the Fruit Tree Project, we try and pick when 70% of the tree is ripe to ensure that the majority of the fruit is at peak ripeness. But if you're at home, you can harvest as it ripens. Harvesting and enjoying perfectly ripe fruit directly from the tree is one of the great pleasures of the backyard gardener. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you enjoy your fruit even more.